What is going on? I got another unboxing for you today, and this is going to be the fairly new. I'm not sure how long the set's been out. There's probably already been reviews on it because I'm typically late to the party. But this is the uh, Mantis with Spartan EVA, and they actually allow you to see the uh, Spartan EVA through the through this little window. And also on the front, they got a nice uh, picture of the Mantis. Now, based on the size of this box, I'm assuming the Mantis is pretty big. However, it's definitely not that big, because this uh, Spartan appears to be a lot smaller than the other Spartans made by this company. And also, maker of this is Wicked Cool Toys. I did a review on their uh, Master Chief, I believe. And I was not impressed by the Master Chief uh, Wicked Cool Toys figure. It was... Felt like cheap plastic and it was not very poseable. However, this being smaller, maybe they went back to like the original design. Like, actually, I'm gonna walk over and get the uh, chief and one of the old Spartans. So, here is. The Wicked Cool Toys Master Chief. I think somewhere on his foot it should say, like, W. See, oh, it doesn't. At any rate, well, what about on? Oh. And here is a different uh, Spartan Master Chief. Now that I look at it, uh, this Spartan is actually even smaller than uh, what I thought it would be. Unless its legs are, like, really, really long. And who made this one? I forgot. Um, this was... Uh, I forgot what company made these. In uh, yeah, it's not written on the foot. I don't know. But, um... So, yeah, just a quick little size comparison. So, I think this one is actually smaller. Actually, I'm just going to quick grab a Halo Reach figure just to... Sure. Uh, yeah, this guy on the shelf for ages. Here's another EVA Spartan. Yeah, pretty sure the one in this box is smaller. Oh, let's set these guys aside. I'll bring one of them back down for a direct size comparison. Okay, enough about the size comparison. Uh, talked a little bit about the box art. More about the box art on the top. It's just, uh, says Mantis with Spartan EVA and green. New World of Halo scale. Or, or is it World of Halo new scale? I don't know. Well, it's definitely a new scale because it's smaller. And also a picture of uh, the other figures in this series, I guess. Looks like there's a gun goose with a blue Spartan and a shade turret. Marines, Jackals, uh, another Master Chief. This is from, like, the Halo Infinite, uh, game is what it's based off, I'm pretty sure, at least. Oh, and on this side, yeah, the phone's kind of low, but there's another picture of the Mantis with, uh, a picture detailing that the Spartan fits inside. Decent picture of the Mantis, so. Not really much else to say about the artwork. It's just green, says Halo, and says Mantis with EVA. Spartan. Another one on the front here. Okay, enough about that. Let's get it open. It's held together. Uh, some tape right here. I'm hoping this whole thing just slides out. That'd make things so much easier. Oh, so much for that. Spartan at least slide out? What the? Oh my. Oh my. Oh boy. Uh, this is a lot bigger than I thought it would be. Well, Spartan looks cool at least. Uh, I think that's... Oh. I... Good thing that didn't come out. My receipt was in there. All the money I blew. And there's a Oh, there's actually an instruction manual 
as if you uh, couldn't figure out how to build it. Hey, let's do a quick little build. So, um, oh, looks like I spoke too soon. I'm already a little confused. So I guess, which way? Okay, that's the top, right there. So this folds around. I believe this fold. Okay, yeah, it's a little bit stiff, which is good. That means it'll be able to stand despite its weight. Okay. So you gotta bend these. Um, yep. Note to self, uh, make sure you know how big one of these things are before you buy it, because you're gonna have to put it somewhere. And I did not think it would be nearly this big. Like, look at this thing. Okay. I wonder if this is actually true scale or not to, like, what the Mantis is meant to be. Does this rotate? Um, it's supposed to go on the right, but this doesn't seem to want to fold outward. Oh, wait, this... Does this rotate? Okay, this is weird. Because it looks like it's supposed to... Yeah, that goes that way. Is this... Okay, that rotates. Okay, that... That part here definitely does not rotate. That looks like two separate pieces of plastic. Did this get put on backwards? Or does it... Um... Okay, this is weird. Because, like, this is supposed to face forward. What's the box art make it look like? Uh, crap. Okay, wait. So this is supposed to... Okay, so this goes down, then rotates around. Okay, I think I'm figuring this out. Then this rotates the other way. Okay. Yeah, the, the arms are kind of in backwards, but... Okay, I'll see if I can get a better shot of this one. So what you have to do is rotate this up spin it like so, rotate it back, then this will bend forward, then you can bend this outward. Okay, that's what it's supposed to look like. And then there's a little, like, insert right here. Split. All right. That's pretty stiff. Oh, boy. Oh, my gosh. Um, I'm going to quick... I'm going to take a look at the box again. Does it say how tall this darn thing is. I don't think anywhere on the box does it say, like, oh, this thing is this tall. I, okay, I'll be honest, like, I was expecting, you know, with how big the Spartan was in the box over here, I thought, like, the Mantis was just gonna be one solid pre-built thing, like, this long, and the Spartan, being a little smaller, would just fit in it. Not the case. This thing is huge. Like, look, that is... Enormously bigger than I thought it would be. Especially because the Spartan was scaled down. I'll give it credit, the joints are pretty stiff, so it's gonna stand. Also, it's very lightweight. Like, I'm just holding it with one finger, and that doesn't even hurt, like, at all. This is not me flexing, I'm just saying that's how light this thing is. Like, for how big it is, it's very, very light. Okay. So the feet look like they... Gosh, I gotta figure out how to... Okay, so the feet do not rotate sideways. They just spin a little. Okay, so I gotta get this thing in a somewhat stable position. So I can at least stand it up. Jeez. Yeah, I did not expect it to be this big. I'm just gonna say that up front. Okay, wait, maybe this goes forward, down. Okay, those are some long legs. Okay, wait, but yeah, the Mantis does have really long legs. So. Okay, I got it standing in a somewhat stable position. My base? Okay. Uh, we'll talk about him later. 
I'm going to call him Freckles. And for those of you that get the reference, good on you. For those of you that don't, figure it out. Okay, so the Spartan is held into like a typical action figure would be. There was some cardboard on the back for some reason. Uh, yep, there's one little nub holding her, him, her in. Knife, I should be careful. All right, so that's out of the way. Oop, fell out. Just pulls out the front. Yeah, this is. Geez, look at the size of this. Okay. Oh, that's interesting. So this shotgun does not have a trigger guard. That's probably just so they didn't have to mold a trigger finger. Okay, some issues getting the shotgun in the hand, but that's typical. At least for me it is. Well, at least they made the shotgun kind of flexible. Well, that just happened. Um, huh, looks like kind of a loose ball joint that holds the uh, Spartan's torso on. This joint's kind of stiff. Okay, so the joints have a locking mechanism. Okay, so that pops out quite easily. And there's not a whole lot of movement in the torso. Legs. Is that joint locked up? Please don't break. Okay, so they're just really stiff and they have locking points, but they're not uh, locked, lock, locked. Duh. Okay, let's try this again. It's gonna go in, rotate down. Okay, now I got the Spartan holding the shotgun. The hand should rotate this way. I always get nervous with the hands. Okay, it's moving. So there's that. I always find it annoying when they alter the scale of figures compared to like what they already were with the previous ones. Okay, well that thumb is so flat I can't get her get I don't know, does this look like a him or a her to you? I'm gonna go with him. Okay, so I can't really get the left hand to hold it right now, but uh okay, Spartan's out, Spartan has its gun. And yeah, I'm going to bring a meal back down just for another comparison of size. So if you happen to have any Halo Reach Spartans, or actually I think this Master Chief is the same scale. Yeah. Any of these Spartans, they're the same scale from whatever company made these. Uh, it wasn't Joyride. It's uh, Yeah, I don't know. But uh, Wicked Cool Toys made this one, as well as the uh, oversized Master Chief that I don't like. But yeah, this is definitely a smaller scale compared to what the previous uh, Spartans from the previous company were. But, you know, go figure. They just had to change it up. They couldn't make them the same size so they'd fit in with everybody else. They either had to make it way bigger or way smaller... Yeah, that, I would consider that way small. It's a whole head shorter. And this is like two heads taller. Okay, more than two heads taller. Okay, enough about my grappling and groaning about scale. Now let's get these out of here. So let's talk about 
the figure itself. And I will talk about the Mantis. I didn't forget about it. Spent 40 bucks on this set, so definitely can't forget about it. So first off, um, detail on the set is, I would say, good. Got a lot of uh, green detail on the chest, and there's also this... Uh, the knife is also a different color. Does it come off? No. The knife is very rubbery. Also, the gun is very uh, rubbery. It has quite a bit of flex to it, and it doesn't break. Actually, all of the material kind of feels like it is a little bit more flexible than the uh, what the previous toy was. This thing is all hard plastic. There's, like, zero flex in anything, except the oversized gun. Yeah, again, this is why I don't like it when they change scale, because even if I if I wanted to take uh, the assault rifle, put it on this Spartan, it, that clearly ain't gonna happen. It's way too big. Okay, so I would stop talking about scale. Um, does this stuff? I wish it was a couple. Yeah, so it doesn't appear that this is meant to come off, unlike the uh, Halo Reach Spartans, where the whole point was that you could easily customize them. Yeah, I still have trouble getting the hand in, but, you know, if I just warm up the hand, I could get the thumb to move. Uh, well, you can probably see the detail well enough, so let's talk about posability of this tiny Spartan head. Can it looks like there's a does this move? No, it doesn't move back. Head can move about that far to one side. Uh, maybe it can move further. Just this piece of plastic is in the way. Oh yeah, head can turn pretty far. Oh, there does appear to be a joint neck joint. Ah, there it is. Okay, so the head can look up a little bit and. Uh, Look down a little bit, but not... Okay, that's going to be annoying. I don't know if the, all of them are like that, where the torso just pops out so easily. I don't think it's supposed to be like that. But mine is. Uh, the arms... Are, well, you already saw. They have kind of... They have locking points, and they're pretty hard locking points. But they do move. About that far out. Let's see if you can... Almost T-pose. Actually, no, that's that counts as a T-pose. There is... Oh, yeah, there's also rotation in the elbows and uh, all the way around. Same with the wrists. I do like that it's the softer plastic, so it's less likely to snap on you. The wrist also... Okay. Uh, torso, not much rotation-like at all. At Thing. So side view here can angle that much forward, but uh, no angling backwards at all. And as you've seen multiple times now, this very easily pops out. I don't think that's an, an intentional feature. Maybe this is just like a slightly defective part, but it's good enough for a display piece. Uh, there's, yeah, there's no rotation below that. I know, like, other sets had an extra rotation point where the hips connect to the waist. Not on this one, it's all one piece. Uh, legs, the... Oh, legs actually come out pretty far. They can go forward, but then they kind of, like, rotate. Is there... Oh, and there's additional rotation in the top of the thighs. Legs are, oh, the knees are double jointed, which means they should go really far. Look completely unnatural, but they can. Let's see, can the Spartan take a knee without falling apart? This is supposed to be a toy. This is a stress test. Okay, so not quite. Can kind of. Turn them sideways. Oop, did I just... No, I didn't break anything. Okay, so can't quite take a knee. Looks a little awkward, but... Uh, kind of. So, double-jointed knees, and then the foot. There's a little bit of 
sideways rotation. And then there's, of course, the ankle joint that allows the foot to move forward and backward that much, but then it starts to uh, bend, and I don't want to break it. So the little Spartan, you know, I'm pretty happy with it. Now let's talk about the Goliath over here, a.k.a. the Mantis. It doesn't even fit on screen. Okay, we'll just start from the top. First off, this is how big it is compared to the Spartan. It, is this actually how big a Mantis is? I didn't remember him being this big. So, there's a hatch on the top. and Yeah, I'm standing it up right now, and it's nearly, like, touching the camera. Well, it's set here. I'll just get the Spartan out of the way. It said the Spartan fits in here, and it looks like it should. Just point the gun forward. Head down a little bit. Fell apart again. Uh, oh. oh, yeah. Totally fits in there. Oh, and it even... There is, actually is a latch on the back, so won't open easily unless you uh, press in. I will say, this does feel like it's the harder plastic, like the Master Chief figure, but, you know, as long as you aren't throwing it off the table, it should be fine. Alright, uh, let's start with the details on this guy. So, first off, there's you've probably already seen there's details on the hatch. I don't know what these two nubs are for. Is that so you could, like, Mount a weapon to the top. Like in the shotgun little. Yeah. I mean the soldier can just hold the shotgun while he while it's in there, so it's like there's no point in mounting it to the top. Uh they do have wait, does this thing move? Oh, it's kind of no, I don't think that moves. So it's got this uh shield plate. I don't know what that is. Maybe is that like where the camera is? These are a translucent plastic on the front, uh, but there's there's no internal lights on this thing. I suppose you could wire internal lights if you really wanted to. Um, for the most part, it's smooth. There's a couple of vents here, a lot of red spots, little red freckles on the top here. And as for the gun, so I find the gun to be like comically small, to be honest. Like with how big this thing is, the gun's pretty tiny. I don't know what caliber that's supposed to be lore-wise. Maybe this is where all the ammo is stored. I don't know much about Halo. I haven't followed it much since, like, Halo 5. And I only played the campaign, like, once. Alright, so moving down. Uh, there is some more detail underneath the top, and they do, they do have most of the vents uh, painted. I don't know what these little, like, flaps are for. Maybe climbing up or something. Oh, on the, uh, like, crotch metal piece, they do have a UNSC emblem. Looks like it's printed on, and there is quite a... I mean, it's probably hard to see on the camera, but there is a good amount of detail on it. It says UNSC in the middle, and there is some text on the bottom, but it's hard to read. Uh, one complaint I already have is the mold lines. They're pretty obvious, especially on this back arm, like, the, there's these very clear white, um, white lines through the middle. I'll have to trim those off at some point with a razor knife. Also, I remembered a mantis having, like, a different colored snout, is that what you would call this? Yeah, back to the minigun. So this, some of it appears to have been painted, like, the minigun itself looks like it was painted, so I'm guessing, like, it's part of one of these sides, so it would just all be, like, the olive green color, but then they painted the gun and this, uh, the bullet belts. And as for the rocket launcher, yeah, kind of obnoxious mold lines on there, too, but that's fixable with some effort. Oh, jeez, that, okay, that is obnoxious. Um... So there's a little circle in the middle of each. I guess that's like the... I don't know if that's like the front of the rocket itself. And there's a line on the back of each, so... They definitely had some attention to detail with it. 
And the legs, mostly flat. There's a couple little, like, ridges to give it some detail. These uh, leg plates. Oh, so these are actually kind of a flexible plastic. They're... Okay, so though that's nice. So you don't have to worry about those breaking too easily. I think, yeah, they actually look like they're a separate piece from the two, like, pieces that make up the leg. So yeah, this, I'll try to show from an angle. This has a lot of flex to it without breaking, which is nice. Uh, can't say the same for these side plates, though. Those are the hard plastic. Oh, there's this on the back. There's, uh, like, orange rocket thrusters. I don't remember this thing being able to jump or evade. Did it? I know it could kick really hard. And lastly, with the feet, the uh, toes, all this is hard plastic. It looks like they, uh, yeah, it looks like it's two pieces that were like pinched together. So parts of it are painted, but other parts are just the olive green. I'm guessing all the parts were like olive green and then they were painted over, except maybe the arms look like that could have been uh, the gray plastic. Okay, now let's talk about posability on this thing. So first off, the head, or cockpit, and head, cockpit, and torso are all like the same thing. That can move all the way around, as it should, because that's how it works in the game. Uh, there is no upward rotation, but there doesn't really need to be, because I'm assuming the pilot sees through like this camera, and the camera will be able to move somewhat. Let me take a quick look inside again. Uh, yeah, I can't tell if this is supposed to be able to rotate or not, but I'm sorry that I keep taking it off camera, but this thing is just obnoxiously huge. And, okay, so back, moving on to posability again. So the arms, as you can see, because I've done so, and I showed you the obnoxiousness of setting it up, they can move pretty... They can rotate pretty far out the back, and uh, so they have a rotation point where it touches the... Uh, uh, hull. I'm just going to call it the hull. Then where that piece connects, they can also rotate downward. I don't know what you want to call that. Here, I'll show it back for you if that'll make more sense. So yeah, the hull rotation. Then there's also... close that? This, um, spinning movement it can do. I'm going to call this the elbow. That can move, uh, way more than it had us any reason to. But that's about as far as it can move, and that goes for both arms. Then, now, I had originally thought that, like, right in here it could spin, but that does not... That does not appear to be the case. I don't think there's any rotation in here, or if there is, it's so heavily locked up that I don't want to mess with it too much. But, okay, so the weapon itself can also rotate about that far forward. And then there's another spinning where the uh, wrist would connect to, I guess you could call this where a hand would be if it had hands, but it just has weapons mounted to its arms. So get that. Oh, it was off camera. So this is what I'm talking about. And that's the same on the other arm as well. And all these joints are reasonably stiff, like not so stiff you can't move them without fear of breaking it, but stiff enough that it'll hold its pose. Okay, so you have both arms. Now, here's the interesting part is with the legs. So it basically has two hips. So like this is where I guess the hips would technically begin is right up front. Those have a very wide range of rotation. There doesn't appear to be anything stopping it from like, I mean, other than the hull. This could rotate all the way around if I were to take the hull off. So a lot of movement there. Then the second hip uh, also just has a standard rotation, so something to note. This is not a ball joint, it is just like a peg, so there is no uh, outward twist like there is with the... Uh, I'll show you what this part I'm talking about. The hips on the Mantis cannot do this. Mantis can't do the splits. But it, well, 
but it has two points in which the hips can move, so you could make it taller or shorter, you can make it kind of squat like if it was in storage. Now then, the knees. Uh, again, this is so obnoxiously huge. Knees can bend probably further forward than they really need to be, but it just opens up the opportunity for different, different poses. And then as for backwards, so the knees are single jointed, unlike the Spartan having double jointed knees, but this thing is meant, this thing is a machine in the game, so they ha it was probably much easier for them to decide where joints should be without it looking awkward, because, you know, it already has joints in the game, no need to change it. It would already have full range of motion with just that anyway. So the knees can bend inward to that angle, then the, uh, ankle, I guess? The, would this be like the heel, and then this is like where the toes technically are? I don't know. It's got a double-jointed leg, so the secondary backwards knee, I guess you want to call it that. Okay, it kind of has a stopper right here, so it can only bend forward that much, and it can bend backwards. Again, it kind of hits this plastic, so it stops that far. It goes through both legs, but it's nice that this stuff, is, that this material is a soft plastic, as I mentioned. Now for the actual feet. Uh, so they have, there does appear to be a rotating joint there. So the feet can come forward slightly and then go backwards that much. Here, I'll just try to keep it on camera. That's maximum forward. That's maximum backwards. It is kind of stiff, but again, that's just so it holds its pose. It's not so stiff that I'm worried I'm going to break it. All right, so yeah, that's the full range of motion on the Mantis figure. I'm going to have to look up whether or not this thing is like comically oversized or not, or if... I do recall, though, that when it um, didn't have a pilot, it would kind of go into like a squatting position. wonder if I can kind of pull that off here. Low enough that a Spartan could easily climb in the back. I am wondering if this is oversized. Like, I don't... I I know these things were big. They're walking max. Yeah, so these would rotate down. Down, down. Yeah, that... Okay, so that doesn't... Uh, so I guess that's kind of its, like, standby pose. It wants to fall forward when I do that. Maybe, wait, do these have to go higher, maybe? Alright, do the feet... Now the feet don't come back any further. Maybe it's just gotta, like, look to the sky a little bit. And go backwards. Okay, maybe if the okay if they put the arms backwards, it kind of acts as a counterweight. Okay, so that's that's as low as I could get it to kind of squat down per se, but that's still like massive. I honestly feel like that this is underscaled. Like, I feel there's... I feel like this would be a more appropriate scale. Like, well, let's see, can this guy even fit in the cockpit? I mean, his legs are kind of wonky. Let's see, can Halo 4 Master Chief fit in the cockpit? Here, keep your gun. He... I want to say yes. Uh, that's a pretty... no. Oh, that's gun. That's battle rifles in the way. Okay, so he's a little bit too tall. He almost fits, but, uh, no. The Halo 4 figures do not fit. At any rate, so yeah, that, uh... 
probably concludes all I have to say about this. I think it's probably way bigger than it needs to be, unless I'm just a fool and this actually is made to scale with the Spartan and these things are just massive. I do actually have the Mega mega Blocks, Mega Constructs Mantis, and I thought that was comically oversized. Well, okay, this is, in my opinion, oversized. The Mega Constructs slash Mega Blocks, because it was Mega Blocks at the time when they made that Mantis, was comically oversized. Like, the Spartan would have only been, like, not even this tall compared to it. Like, it wouldn't even be taller than the foot. Well, at any rate, you know, if you want a Mantis this big, oh, there's a bunch of writing on the bottom. Uh, 2021? 2021? Okay, so this thing's been out for a little while. I don't bother researching stuff before I review it. I just buy it because I think it looks cool, and then I figure out later when it came out. But yeah, if you want a Mantis this big, I got this at Target for 42 bucks, and... I mean, I think that's worth it. I personally have no idea what I'm going to do with this thing now. I thought I could just put it on my shelf, which is already bloated with Halo figures. But it is way too big to fit on my tiny little shelf, unless I uh, remove a few things or make another shelf. But uh, yeah, all in all, I think this is a... I think it's a really cool set. Don't get me wrong, I'm... Like, despite what I've complained about, I think it's really cool. I think it's worth it, especially if you're into Halo and if you like the Mantis. I really do like Walker-type vehicles. I just wish it was a little smaller. Like, maybe half the size. If they, Yeah, if they could make a Mantis with a little Spartan that's, like, half this big, that would be cool. That's just something, like, I would find interesting, but... This is pretty cool on itself. I would definitely recommend this if you're into Halo and you want something to put on the shelf. Just make sure your shelf is big enough. So, man, I'm going to get a tape measure and just, I'm going to stand this guy up into like. That's the last thing I'm going to do before I adjourn this video. Adjourn. What, what is up with my terminology? Too fancy before I end this video. I'm going to stand him up like he would be if he was being piloted. Okay, so... I'll give you some quick dimensions, because I looked at the box again, and I do not see it saying, like, how tall this figure is, which would have been nice to know. Okay, I'm just gonna lay him this way, because he kind of fits on camera. Alright, I think I got... Oh no, I moved the whole darn bag. Oh, bear with me for a second. Oh wow, this video's long. Okay, so he's in a pose where he can stand in a pretty stable manner. Maybe he should aim a little bit downward. Okay, yeah, that's a stable standing position. From foot, foot to the top of the hull, 15 inches. It might not look like it from the angle of the camera, but yeah, that's, I would call that 15 inches. And then width, like gun to gun. Well, it's not including the chain gun. Uh, yeah, solid 10. So, although width of the feet is what you really need eight inches down here. I don't know what that is in metric. 
So yeah, if you do want to get these, make sure you have enough space, because I don't think I do. Or I, I'll have to make a whole other shelf just for this guy, to be honest. Jeez. But uh, yeah, I'll say it again just to close the video. I think this is a cool set. I do think it's worth the money. If you're into Halo, just be aware that you need a lot of space to have it. With a teeny little Spartan and a shotgun. So, yeah, that's all I have to say about this set. Uh, if you found this video helpful, leave a like or just let me know in the comments. Other than that, uh, I'll see you all in the next one.